yeah, if you guys have any issues with your glucose tolerance test or drinking that gross stuff, then definitely advocate yourself and say like, hey, I know there's a person out there that did it with dextrose and water. Hey everybody, it is Elle, back for another bump date, yay! <laughs> so this is all about my week 27. So this week we had some exciting developments. We officially started hypnobirthing classes, which has been so great. I'm so excited about it. So it's been really fun to meet some other people that are all kind of due around the same time. And it's been a really nice introduction to like hypnosis and all of that stuff. Obviously, I know a lot about birth. I teach childbirth classes myself. So it's kind of a funny situation there, but uh, it was great. We did like introductions around the classroom and I mentioned that I'm a nurse and I also teach childbirth classes, but I teach like more conventional ones. And so I don't have a lot of experience with like hypnobirthing or hypnosis or anything like that. So I was very excited to be able to take this class and learn more about hypnosis. So that's been interesting. Um, I had really great first class experience. They did a lot of like anatomy and physiology and stuff like that, which I kind of already know. So it wasn't anything like groundbreaking yet. Um, but it's definitely interesting to do some of that and learn some of the concepts. And, you know, it's great. We have like homework every week. Where we have to like read part of the book. And sometimes they send you home with like worksheets. Like there's like a fear release worksheet where you go through it and make sure you're like not holding on to any worry about birth and all this stuff. So I think it's going to be a really great class and they have a lot of really good resources. So I'm excited. I started reading the book and it's really amazing. It's about this person's journey through her births and everything. Uh, and so far I very highly recommend this class. So if anyone's interested in hypnobirthing classes, then I think they're an awesome tool to be able to use. And I'm really hopeful that we can have a <clears throat> hypnobirth ourselves and um, not have any like worries about birth and being able to be relaxed during birth and labor seems kind of cool. So I'm excited about that. The other thing going on is I had another midwife appointment this week. I had my glucose tolerance test, which was hilarious because I have a bunch of food allergies. As some of you guys know, there's a whole video on my food allergies if you want to check that out. And so one of the allergies that I have, so I'm allergic to nuts, peanuts, and then, believe it or not, most fruits and vegetables. It's a pollen, severe pollen allergy. So anything that has like pollen in it is a problem for me. Uh, there's a handful of fruits and vegetables I can eat that are not in that like the pollen family. But if anyone's heard of oral allergy syndrome, that's basically what it is. I just have a severe version of it where I have like full blown anaphylactic shock. <laughs> um, there's a whole video on it if you wanna hear more. <laughs> but anyways, that's the gist. So the issue is the glucose tolerance test that they give to pregnant ladies around this time uh, is in fruit juice, which is a problem because I can't have fruit juice unless it's like completely artificially flavored and almost every single fruit juice, if you look at it, it says that it contains like a certain percentage of juice or it says naturally and artificially flavored. So that doesn't work. Uh, so I had to work with my midwife and I talked to her a couple weeks ago at my last appointment saying that I have this allergy that, um, and they know it's in like the computer and everything too. And I said, so how do I do the glucose tolerance test? Like, do I bring in a soda instead? Or do I bring in like Gatorade or, you know, certain flavors of Gatorade that I can have? Um, or do I bring in like sugar and water? Like, how do I do it? So she told me to buy dextrose online, which is a form of like pure sugar and, um, and to bring it in and they have to measure out like 50 grams using the, um, like how many teaspoons per grams of sugar is on the back of the label. So she told me to order this very specific brand of dextrose, which I did. <laughs> and um, d uh, funny enough, on the day of my glucose tolerance test, and she said she's done this once before with another person, uh, but apparently nobody else had. And the day of my glucose tolerance test, I was surprised to hear that unfortunately my midwife was ill that day and was not in the office. So I had a different midwife they had no idea what I was talking about. And the nurses had no idea what I was talking about. And nobody had any idea what I was talking about. So I brought in this like bag of sugar <laughs> and and I was telling them what my midwife told me to do. Um, and you know, luckily I'm like a, I don't know, pretty on top of a person and I'm a nurse myself. So I was like, look, I don't, I don't mind if I have to measure this out myself and do it all myself. And then you guys can just like draw my blood. I'm cool with that. So, cause they were all super rattled. Like they had no idea what to do with this stuff. And luckily on the back it said like, 
this many grams, I think it was like five grams per, I don't know, teaspoon or something like that. So we figured out it had to be something crazy like 10 teaspoons and then I converted that into tablespoons and then I had to brought my own tablespoons because they said to do that too. My midwife said to bring your own tablespoon. So I brought all the equipment and I just got a cup from them and I filled it up with water and just dumped it in and swirled it up and drank it and it was fine and they're like how was it like they were all concerned about the taste and everything and honestly it wasn't bad at all like I don't know I kind of feel bad for the people that have to drink that giant drink because it's like this big it's like the size of your head crazy and mine it was just like I just stirred it into this little cup of water and it was like I've taken a shot <laughs> it was totally fine um but yeah no and it was just like sugary it, it didn't taste bad at all there was nothing bad about it it wasn't like so sugary that it was disgusting to me or anything like that. It just tasted kind of like weird soda. <laughs> so if it, yeah, if you guys have any issues with your glucose tolerance test or drinking that gross stuff, then definitely advocate yourself and say like, hey, I know there's a person out there that did it with dextrose and water, and it's also a non-GMO version. So if you're like really against GMOs or the artificial sweeteners and all that kind of weird stuff that they put in those drinks then this is definitely an option for you guys and I think it's awesome that my midwife was so cool with it and so uh, so she worked really well with me and then the other midwives were like totally <laughs> thrown for a loop but now they all know and that's what I said too I'm like well at least I'm your guinea pig and now you guys know that this is a thing so if anybody else has any food allergies or any issues then you know and obviously like this is our first baby and we're hoping to have more kids so and I'm hoping to like go back to this midwife practice years down the line when we have our another our second child so I'm kind of like okay well at least they'll like know that this exists <laughs> so they're not like totally shocked by it um but anyways so yeah so if anyone has any questions on that feel free to comment down below or message me or email me whatever um because I know there's like you know I can't imagine other people having this issue but if you do and you have questions about it then yeah go right ahead because Lots of people have food allergies, it's just an unusual allergy, so I couldn't drink the drink. Um, but the good news was, is uh, my blood sugar came back at 112, which they said was beautiful and perfect and everything was great. So I'm really happy to hear that. No gestational diabetes, so yay! <laughs> um, I've still been craving a little bit of sugar, but it's been a little bit more manageable. I definitely have like treats every now and then, definitely eating more sugar than I did before my pregnancy just because I'm not a huge like it's not that I'm like a super healthy human it's just that I'm like not I don't it's not something I really like crave like I'd rather have something salty um not like chips everyone thinks like when you say salty they think chips I actually don't like chips very much um no I'd rather have like some like salty soup or like rotisserie chicken or like some something like that like that's more my jam <laughs> or like biscuits or something like that um not like biscuits that are cookies like if you're in a different part of the world <laughs> I mean like actual like buttermilk biscuits I am a huge fan of those but yeah I'd rather have that than have like a cookie or I don't know something else super sweet so I'm definitely still interested in sweets but I'm like I don't know I don't eat a ton of them. I'm not the type of person that like can sit down and eat this huge serving of sugar. It's more like if I have a little craving I might have like a little you know package of mini muffins or like a little thing of coffee cake or whatever. So so that's been good and my weight has definitely been steadily increasing. Uh, it's always like kind of rattling to hear how much you weigh when you're pregnant for the first time because you know when you're used to being a certain weight your whole life and you're like oh my gosh but just keep on telling myself that it's normal and that I was slow to gain weight at the beginning so now my body's like catching right up but <laughs> my uh, midwife appointment I was 181 pounds so that's all totally normal and everything's been good and baby's measuring perfectly their heartbeat was 155 which I'm pretty sure every appointment it's been in the 150s it hasn't really deviated a ton so I don't know what that says about baby like boy or girl or whatever <laughs> speaking of boy or girl if you guys haven't yet please sign up for baby hunch the link is down below. It'll also be above my head in the credits or the end part, whatever. And I've decided I'm officially going to do a prize if we have enough people do the Baby Hunch contest. If we have at least 10 people guess, then I'll do a prize. Probably like a, a gift card or something. I don't know. Maybe it'll be TTC related and I'll like send someone a ton of pregnancy tests or something. I mean, if they're TTC, if, you know, if not, then I'll send them a gift card. But anyways, um, I might do something cute with it. So definitely sign up for babyhunch.com. 
And that's it for now, guys. If you have any other questions or anything like that, then certainly let me know. But that's it for now. And if you like, subscribe. Bye.